I told you at the beginning of the our cold plug journey, I was my goal was to get to a point where I could share like the stuff I research, you know, like the science of cold plunging, the benefits and, you know, little things like that to make it interesting and also maybe inspire or motivate people to try it. So today, this cold plunge will have that, but I had to do, I had to do it like a write everything down and cause I've tried it. I tried it on previous cold plunge and I can't, I can't remember nothing when I'm in there but I got it to where I will read it. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'll be reading it the best I can. And hopefully, like I said, it's interesting stuff to you. And I'll just keep picking different topics that are related to this whole cold plunge journey. Let me know what you guys think and uh, make fun of me if you want, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> but it's, it's hard, it's hard to, to even think when we're in a cold plunge. By the way, it's at 50 degrees now and it's freaking cold. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Let's dive into what part of my brain is getting a frosty wake up call from this daily plunge. So, what happens when you decide to turn yourself into a human popsicle? The first part of your brain that lights up like a Christmas tree is the hypothalamus. You can think of this little guy as your body's thermostat. It's a control center for keeping you warm. It regulates your body temperature and freaking out just a little bit when you decide to plunge into the water that's colder than you're, you expect. Cold exposure doesn't just make your hypothalamus go into overdrive. It also kicks your amygdala into high gear. The amygdala is your brain's fear center, the part that makes you go, yikes, <laughs> when you see something scary. In this case, instead of running away, you're teaching it to embrace the discomfort. It's like facing your fears, except those fears are freezing cold water and you can't really run away because you're already in it. Then there's the prefrontal cortex, the decision maker, the planner, the voice in your head that says, you've got this, keep going. Even though I'm shivering right now, it's the part of your brain that's getting stronger every time you push through those three minutes. Think of it as a mental weightlifting, except instead of dumbbells, you've got icicles. Let's not forget the ventral, ventr ventral tegmental area, the part of the brain associated with reward and pleasure. Yep, you heard that right. While you're sitting here shivering, your brain is secretly releasing dopamine feel good hormone like a congrats for surviving the plunge this is why you feel so good afterward even though right now you might be questioning all of your life choices so to sum it up deliberate cold exposure exposure doesn't just shock your body it gives your brain a workout too from your hypothalamus to your prefrontal cortex you're not just building resilience, you're also rewiring your brain to handle stress better, feel more focused, and enjoy a nice dopamine kick. Just like that, we're almost done. Remember, the cold might be comfortable, uncomfortable, but that's where the magic happens. If you can handle this, you can handle anything. All right, time to get out before I turn into a human. I said, oh, see you tomorrow for another dip. Ooh.